Greetings, Goobers. I'm Tara. And I'm Jonathan. This week at Lex Tube. We enjoy a speed paint by Heidi Daniel. Our sponsors introduce a new product. Digital Multimedia gives us a behind the scenes look. And Redding gives us a first look at Airport High School's production of Little Women. Welcome to this week's Lex 2. First off, let's look at this week's sports scores from our Lex 2 schools with me. Hello sports fans and welcome to the weekly sportscast with Jonathan Gonzalez. First off, let's start with BC. Congratulations Cameron Etheridge on being selected for the Coast AAA Region B All-Region Team. Next up, Airport High School. Congratulations to Junior Santana Reese and sophomore Desaya Booth for being named All-Region. Throughout the month of March, the Airport High School cheer team are holding open practice for 7th through 11th graders interested in joining the team. And that will do it for this week's sportscast. Let's head over to this week's Weather Frenzy with Heidi. Hi, welcome to this week's Weather Frenzy. I'm your host, Heidi. This week's high is going to be 82, with the low being 51. Make sure to be on the lookout for rain scattered across the week. It seems to be nice, warm, and breezy. This week looks pretty good weather-wise. Here's a video showcasing the Casey Elementary Career Day Fair. Wow, it went back to the career days back in my elementary school. Next up, here's a speed paint from Heidi Daniel. Thanks, Heidi. Here's Kai Conyers with Behind the Scenes of Digital Multimedia. Welcome to Behind the Scenes of Digital Multimedia. Do you think this class is but a community inside itself? Yeah, I would say so. Um, it's very nice to have friends in here and even to this day making new friends in this class. 
I believe so, because most of the people hang around and are real friendly. Everyone feels like family to me. I love everybody here. Everybody's chill. Especially you, her, and Maroon, and Gabe. They're all off camera, so thank you for doing that. <laughs> How does it feel to be able to control the content that you make? It feels great. Like, I feel like I have my own YouTube channel, and I'm glad that I picked this class. It feels good. I like being in control, but I tend to lack in certain aspects. Um, I really like it. Uh, I'm able to express feelings, express emotions in this class without others judging me. What skills do you think that you have learned in this class that you can use later in life? Um, editing, because I want to be a YouTuber, a gamer YouTuber, and... Girl, look at you. You're amazing. <laughs> And I want to, I do want to take another one of her classes on animation because I want to animate on a YouTube channel. What skills do you think you have learned in this class that you can use later in life? Responsibility. A lot of responsibility. Now we're interviewing Ms. Reamer, the person who has been behind the scenes of this class since 2010. What is digital multimedia entitled? Digital multimedia is the whole gamut in the multimedia video field. So you are learning not only soft skills, eye contact, but you're also learning script writing, how to operate a video camera, shot angles and types, and then you are learning linear video editing with Adobe Premiere so that you can put the whole package together to include music, visuals, graphics, the whole bit. Why do you believe this class is important for students to take? I have had great feedback over the years from students that had previously taken this class. It is an elective class, but the amazing thing about it is that it teaches you such great employability skills, soft skills, how to have eye contact, how to interview people, which I have gotten feedback from other students in the past that they had done really well on job interviews and things like that. What were the struggles that you had presenting this class to the school board? Not so much was it a problem presenting it, but all of the legwork and background work to have together to apply to make the class. How do you feel about the way this class has grown? I'm amazed at the way that this class has grown. We started with a shower curtain and a piece of fabric that we made a green screen out of in one camera. And now we have things that are nicer than some of the news station has. Thank you for joining us behind the camera. We hope you enjoyed it just as much as when we're in front of it. That's what we do here. We have a special announcement coming to you from the airport theater department. The lights of New York, the sights, the people, the whir of taxis and the wallet disappearing out of your pocket at 10 p.m. I can't promise you Broadway, but I can promise you the next best thing. Little Women at good old Airport High School from May 4th to the 7th. I'll, I'll even put the times up above my head right now so you can see. You can pause the video. It's based on a book from like 1870, but I don't read books, so I'm just gonna go and watch the funny people do funny things. It costs $5 to get in with your student ID and $10 without, so go! Go not only to support airport, but also because you're not doing anything else that night, are you, Michael? <laughs> if I guess that your name was Michael, by the way, you gotta go. Like, legally, you have to go now. Anyway, guys, back to the news. Make sure to be on the lookout for the theater's production. I'm not sure, someone must be tampering with the signal. Hi, and welcome to Lulu's uh, very real and credible fact-based news. You see this desk? This is where they sit and peddle lies to you. They try to obscure the real news, but I'm here to tell you the truth. The moon is made of cheese, okay? Swiss cheese. They try to tell you it's a rock, but have you ever seen a rock that big? Exactly! They want you to think that the moon isn't cheese because they want to keep all that scrumptious dairy product for themselves. But it is! And you know how I know? I made the moon! That's right, I carved it and missile launched it into space! You don't believe me? Luckily, I have proof! Look at this incredibly scientific chart! You see that? 99% cheese. The, um, the 1% is yum because I took a little bite out of it and it was delectable. But that is besides the point. When you look up in the sky and see that shining orb, it is pure Swiss. Observe, a real moon rock. Where do you think today's cheese supply comes from? That's right, they harvest it from the moon, not Wisconsin. But you need to listen to me. 
okay? I'm here to warn you, the moon and all its cheesiness is melting, melting! And the earth will be merely reduced to a fondue fountain! It'll lead to our doom! I'll be the only one spared because I'm its mother, but everyone else will be wiped away in a tidal wave of cheese. I've been warning people for years, but nobody has listened. They said, all said, Lulu, that's completely baseless and extremely illogical conclusion, or that's literally scientifically impossible, or how did you get into my house? I thought I locked my windows, but I won't be silenced anymore. I have data. See, it's melting, it's on the rise. 95% melting capacity. The end is coming. And you know why? Aliens! But not the green-skinned men or little microorganisms you may be thinking of, okay? You may know them as mere rodent nuisances. Rats! As you can see here, the amount of rats that are aliens is astronomical. You can't really see, but there's, there's one that isn't. That's my buddy Jerry. But you may wonder how they're involved in this. They want to cheese all of themselves, okay? And their plan to do that? Using little rat hair dryers to melt the cheese and bring an end to humanity. We have to stop them, okay? The rat? What are you doing here? <laughs> well, that was weird. I wonder what happened. Let's just keep going. Thank you, Gears, for watching. I'm Jonathan Gonzalez. And I'm Tara, coming to you from LexTube News.